Happy holidays. Just turn around. Cute. Get JB. I'm trying to give my cute pajamas. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Oh god. All right, you guys, it is our Christmas Eve. Well, it is Christmas Eve, and I'm going to be cooking and doing everything today because my husband is off. So for our dessert, we're having chocolate cake. I like to add things to my chocolate cake, and I typically use an icing, homemade icing, to make the cake taste authentic. Um, so I have one and a half of this triple chocolate fudge. In my opinion, this is one of the best box cakes um, it's very very moist it comes with a pudding in the mix but i also add additional pudding so i'm going to add half of this box of chocolate He's pudding still. by Jell O, and then i'm going to of course add my um eggs crisco oil and then i'm going to add coffee to this not a lot my husband doesn't drink coffee but this is probably like one fourth of a cup it's not going to make a big difference okay What is that? It's the cassette player. Cassette player is your Walkman? Oh. Hello? The presents are open. Mm -hmm. You want to hold that up for mommy so I can take a picture of it? The surprise. asking for those for a long time. <laughs> How you like it's this walk? So me? Cool. He's listening to Stevie Wonder now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what's your favorite toy so far, baby? Um, this one because This is what my homemade chocolate icing looks like. See how it's thickened up from the previous vlog. And these are my three. I didn't think I would have three. I'm going to move this laptop out the way, y'all. I'm editing videos. <sighs> so three um, fairly large nine inch cakes. That's how much batter that turned out. I hope I have enough icing. I don't think I will. So we'll try to be, I like the icing in between the layers to be pretty thick. And I don't mind the icing outside to be a thin coating. Oh my God, y'all, OMG, look at this cake. I didn't have enough icing, but look how the icing just spills out. And this on top is crumbled up cake that I had left over from, yeah, so. Shout out to the heiress for giving me um, a different idea for doing my homemade cranberry sauce. I sent her a message last night. She forwarded me a, a recipe that she'd been using. This girl, she was posting all types of things she was doing over her cranberry sauce. I'm like, well, come through, sis. So, <laughs> um, I used what I had on hand. So, I, I was able to find 
cranberries at my local Walmart because yeah, some of the other grocery stores didn't have them. So what I did, I added two tablespoons of maple syrup. Um, the recipe actually called for, I believe, one cup of raw honey. I don't really care for raw honey that much, I know. I used the juice of one orange and I also had some fresh orange juice in there. Um, I also used a little bit of cranberry juice. I used one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a cap full of apple cider vinegar. The recipe called for a lot more, but I want to see how this tastes. So right now I'm just waiting for the cranberries to pop and then it will basically solidify, it will turn into a gel consistency. You can make this in advance, but all my neighbors stopped by. Let me get this out the way. Are you ruining the presentation, girl? My neighbors stopped by and dropped this off. When I tell you these are some of the best desserts I have ever had besides my own. This is a local, if you're here in Arizona, it's called Sweets, but it's up here near me, Sweets and Treats, and they're local. When I tell you this brownie, I almost killed this brownie. After two bites, I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Sugar cookie with that icing on top was bomb. This was a snickerdoodle that JB killed. <laughs> Rice Krispie treats, and eh, don't really care for too much. But when I tell you these desserts were so good, oh my. Mm -hmm. And then you, and then you, and then you have a nice cup. cup. We have this. I'm gonna bring it up and like show. I have the um my Bible book. Your Bible book. My Bible book and so. Mm -hmm. Show them your Bible book. So it's a link. I don't know who this is. And and we also have Pac-Man and Minecraft. All right, so this craft is going to be a snowman. So the first thing you need to do. Oh, that's right, Santa, sorry. So the first thing you need to do is everything up here, you need to color red. Even up here, color it red, okay? And I got another one just in case. This one doesn't? No. Uh. Right, all right. Do it. Okay, now Do you're gonna know. hold it right here at the tip for five seconds. Right there, that's good. And hold it down, five seconds. And press it I down. Don't know the okay. All right. Thank now, you. how about you do a, a nose? Needs a nose, right? Oh, yes, Santa. Got a big red nose. Why is Santa have a big red nose? We don't know, child. Maybe he has the flu. <laughs> yes. He has a, a, a nose so too big. Okay. <clears throat> he has to have a, a huge beard, right? Yeah, a huge beard to cover his nose. Oh my goodness. You don't want to cover his entire nose, baby. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cover up half of his nose. What we'll perfect. Like that, like that. We it's nose. okay. It's okay. This looks perfect. You did really good, sweetheart. Ryan Little. <laughs> tender this chicken is uh oh look at that look at that fall off the bone fall off the bone yes extra from my neighbors look at this chicken though I already tested it and it's falling off the bone 
these greens. Look, you don't have to add pork to have good greens. Perfect. Done. Bon appetit.